Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 67 of Direwolf20's Enigmonica 2 Expert Mode series. Today, I want to work on gravity and oxygen. Area gravity controller, station gravity controller. Ooh, quest complete. Alright, gravity controller. Uh, let's you control the gravity of your space station. I assume station gravity controller is what I want, but now that I see that there's two, I kind of want to take a look. Kind of want to take a look uh, at the area gravity controller just so I can understand the difference. Um, so let's see, station gravity controller, huh? So I don't see it. I don't see it being listed as being different in on 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 the wiki. It doesn't say that there's two different machines here. Um. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. It actually looks like a really neat UI and it looks more advanced than it was last time we played with it. But I'm not sure which one to make. I was all ready to go and then I got hit with uh, with this curveball. Uh, area gravity controller from advanced rocketry. I might need to look into this one. So the quest wants me to do the station gravity controller. So I'm going to do that one. But I'm just kind of curious what, like, the area gravity controller is. So maybe, oh, look, that's really simple. Okay. Neat. <laughs> that's a recipe. <laughs> All right. Gravity controller for area. That's a little bit more stuff going on there, isn't it? I don't know what that's all about. That's interesting. Look at all that. That's a much more complex recipe than that. Uh, but that's the one we want, so uh, we'll look at area gravity controller at some point in the future. Um, when supplied with oxygen power, will fill the room it's in with oxygen, given that it's airtight. The size it can fill with oxygen is limited, but large. I agree. Uh, so I remember in, in 110, there was like two different ways that gravity, or, or that air, could fill a volume based on the config, right? Uh, the CO2 scrubber with carbon collecting cartridge in will decrease the amount of oxygen the oxygen vent uses. Uh, you can place up to two next to an oxygen vent. The rotation of the CO2 scrubber matters. Uh, the carbon collecting cartridges will be destroyed over time. Sweet. Um, so we have an oxygen vent. So we want two carbon... Whoopsies. So the carbon collector cartridge, what do we get here, by the way? Compact cobblestone generator and targets from open blocks. Sweet and sweet. Um, we want what machine? CO2 scrubber. Uh, so we want two of these for sure, right? Uh, so we're going to want some iron sheets. Have I have I not yet taught you how this works? Uh, I think it's about time, right? So we can do that and that. Uh, and then input hatch. It should be the empty one. Because, like, that's the interface that's on the input hatch for that dude. So if I want, like, ten of you, uh, assuming this actually crafts, it should be that it's working. And if it doesn't craft, then I did something wrong, which is extremely likely. Like, maybe I forgot to item conduit. That's actually very likely. I don't remember if I item conduited you. Are you crafting? You're kind of crafting. Rocketry building... <laughs> Yeah, I totally didn't item a conduit you. Right? Uh, so your item conduits basically want to go here. So let's just run that along that line. Right? And you can be insert and you can be extract. Always active. Oh, right. Wait, what? Hold on. Derp. Yeah. Complete derp. Hang on. All the blocks look the same. That's where I want to connect to. I'm like, why is there a power in block? Wait, what's going on? Dire, please. Can't be five seconds into an episode without a dire derp. Am I right? I'm right. I know I'm right. All right, so getting you guys back and filled in. Boop, boop. 
and that should be cool. Huzzah! Now you're good. Okay, cool. So, carbon collection cartridge one, two. Cool, that's what we want. And then CO2 scrubbers. This basically makes it use less. So I need a carbon brick. Oh, that's easy enough. All right, uh, any kind of motor and a steel fan. So CO2 scrubber should now be available to me. Nice. Uh, and we want two of those, right? So I don't know why I only did one of each recipe, but we'll do another one. How's that sound? Motor. CO2 scrubber. Come on, motor. Let's go, motor. Just making a few things. By the way, I did look into uh, getting singularities between episodes, because remember I started to say I'm going to look at that, and then I got, um, hello, you're not a singularity, uh, and then I got distracted. So uh, yeah, these things, straightforward, already got the 64k thing because I autocrafted it. Matter condenser? Oh, quantum compression, whatever that is. We need a quantum compressor from Extended Crafting. Uh, and we have to feed it an elite compressing, or some, yeah, I guess elite compressing factory, and a piston. Jiminy Jillikers. Uh, and that requires this not terrible looking recipe. Doesn't look too bad. No idea what some of this stuff is. Uh, I mean, it looks like this might be attainable to us at this point. Um, I need an induction smelter of tough alloy and a block of invar. So, I mean, like, that looks craftable at this point. The only thing that concerns me is that that crafting table is, like, this one, right? Unless that's, like, the end-tier crafting table of it, right? So I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, I'm gonna hold off on messing with that mod too much just yet. I wanna keep playing with space. Uh, so what we wanna do then is... Oop, right over to our rocketry area. So I've got my two CO2 scrubbers, station gravity controller, oxygen vent. You know what else I'd like to do? Let's get oxygen in an ender tank. Does that sound cool? Uh, I hope so, because that's what we're doing. How are we for iron space plates? Oh, good. Cool. We have plenty of them for a while. That's nice. Good job, past direwolf. You did a good job bolt crafting a bunch of iron plates in advance, so I'm proud of you. One, two, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, we could use more Ardite at some point. Uh, we have a little bit, though, so I'm going to go manually drop that into our get me 12 Ardite from the three ore that we have. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Love it. And uh, let's go with light blue. I feel like light blue represents what I want. So light blue, white, white. Sound like a good color for for that stuff, for oxygen. Okay. Um, so you're my oxygen reserve, right? Duh, duh, duh. So you're voiding excess, no, that's hydrogen, right? This one's hydrogen, and you're voiding excess hydrogen, right? Which is only using for this, right? Uh, oxygen is not being voided. So what I'm gonna do, uh, you on this mode, right? So you're extracting on brown. So then what we want is some gas conduits to insert on brown. I want the good ones. Not that they're not all good. Insert on brown, not extract. So now you should be full of oxygen. You're doing pretty good on oxygen and you're running again, I presume. Yes, cool. So electrolyzer's back up and running. Got any extra facades? Yeah, we do. And I'm gonna hang on to these. Uh, actually, I probably don't need the ender ones. I just need regular conduit. Uh, we may, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, long story short, these things go into the CO2 scrubbers. They'll make it use less oxygen to vent oxygen into the environment uh, of the space station, assuming that the space station's environment is um, completely airtight. So I guess we'll find out if it is once we get there. So out here is not airtight, right? So this environment clearly exposed to open space, no oxygen, and we're using oxygen from our uh, pressure tank 
and uh, that's bad, right? And here, we're currently also using oxygen from our pressure tank. Uh, what I think I'd like to do, how am I for resources in terms of building? I think I'd like to build another room for oxygen and uh, gravity. I think that's the plan that I want to go with. So let's get more of these building materials, the laboratory screens. Um, what I'm going to do for the moment, I cleaned out this bag because I had so much junk in there uh, that I really didn't need. All right, is that cool? Yes. So let's get more of you guys for sure. Let's get more glass. Okay, and we're going to ba -doop, boop boop and that should be cool. And then I, I really like mana glass. I hope I have enough mana over here. How are you for mana? You look really low. I feel like I should I should do something about that. But I also feel like my inventory is really low on stuff, so we're going to hold off. Um, do the thing. That works. Cool. Uh, and it looks like my flux capacitor is getting a little bit low. Do I have anything? Uh, you can charge my flux capacitor now, can't you? You totally can. Booyah. Very nice. We probably don't need that charging station anymore then. I'm so used to, I guess, thermal and, and uh, a couple other mods that don't let you charge inside the battery anymore that I forgot that you could do that with mechanism for a bit. All right, uh, to space we go. Let's expand that uh, space station and get ourselves a little uh, oxygen and gravity room. You know what else I might want before we go? Um, let's 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 do something. Let's do. Um, I'm gonna put away this reservoir. I don't technically need him on me right now. Uh, I'm going to put away my chisel. I don't technically need him right now. Uh, and I'm going to put away one of these food items. Because uh, what I want to get... One more thing to grab before we leave. I'd like... Get me like four of these and like four of these real quick. Would you, buddy? I want to link you guys just to have you handy. Boom. Alright. Um, we only need one power cell for now. And we only need one linking card for now. Now let's make sure we have some energy conduits so that we can transfer the power. All right, back in a minute. I will see you guys in space. So I'm not sure if I've shown you guys this fancy new feature of building gadgets just yet, because um, there is a fancy new feature of building gadgets, hooray, that I want to show you. Um, and it'll actually be really useful for me right now to do and to use. So uh, we're going to uh, we're totally going to do it. So let's check a look. Um, new feature of building gadgets is that you can place a crate in the world, or any inventory, any inventory, uh, and you can bind your gadget to that inventory. So like the building gadget, for example, by shift right clicking on it and see how it turned yellow when I did that. So like without it bound, I don't have the materials to build, right? When I bind it, boom, all of a sudden it's no longer red because I do have the materials to build. Haha! -ha. How cool is that? So it'll be able to pull out of this remote inventory. Thought you guys might find that interesting. Might think it's cool. So I kind of want to go this way. Uh, and I'm thinking I'd also like my exchanging gadget out here for the time being. And I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. Now, current version of the mod, it can extract from the chest, but it won't put it back in. So watch what happens when I um, do this. See how the glass went into my inventory? Not back into the chest. Um, Next version, what will happen is if you have any glass in your inventory, it'll fill that stack. And then once that stack is full, it'll go to the chest. If you don't have any glass in your inventory, it'll go straight into the chest, right? Assuming that it's bound, right? 
Um, for some reason, the rendering around the bound inventory isn't working, and I need to figure out why that is for the exchanger. For the builder, it's cool, right? But for the exchanger, it's not. I have to figure out what's up with that. It's a little minor bug. You know, bugs happen. So let's... Um, how far did we make this? One, two, three, four, five, right? So we did five blocks out, and then we did a room. So I think I'm gonna stick to that, right? So we're gonna do a horizontal column set to five. Cool. Um, and I guess technically I want, do I need? I don't know that I need that. So we'll do this, right? Let's make sure our jetpack's on for this next part. And then we want um, a horizontal wall. Now, what did I do with this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I did do a nine by nine horizontal wall, right? Bing. How cool is that? Uh, so then we want, uh, what I'd like to have is um, you in vertical column mode, six, 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 and six. That's how tall I made that room, right? Yes, that looks cool, right? And then build to me should be you, 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 and you, perfect, right? Um, and then we've got, I'd like this component to be built to me and this one, does that seem cool? Vertical column, actually, and then you should be three and three, I think. Yeah, I think that looks cool, right? Um, I like that. I like that. So this entire area um, is going to be internal, right? So what we're going to have is something like that, right? And then horizontal wall of seven, and then vertical wall. If I vertical wall you, are you gonna be, you're gonna be a little bit too tall. So what I'm gonna do is shrink you down to a five, right? I can do that. Well, I'll just do vertical column. Nice, all right, so then this entire area should be airtight then. In theory, we should be completely airtight, except for this part. I didn't do this part yet. So I'd like this to all be glass too. So let's just do a build to me on these. And bada bing, bada boom, we've got now an airtight room, right? So in theory, this room should be airtight, okay? Um, and if that's true, then I should be able to pop down uh, my oxygen vents with my CO2 scrubbers, my station gravity controller, and this guy. The gravity controller I don't think requires um, any level of of stuff, right? I don't know why I have an input hatch on me. What was that for? That's for the grab. That's for that. That's that's for the that's for the warp core. That's where the uh, fuel for the warp core goes, right? So in this room, uh, right, we'll have our oxygen vent with the CO2 scrubbers, right? Now you've got oxygen in you, I have no idea why. Oxygen trace, I don't know what that does. Redstone controlled normal. So I guess I need a lever to turn on oxygen, right? You need the CO2 scrubbers. These things will start taking damage as they collect CO2, right? Um, and then you just need power. So I'm going to have the gravity controller, by the way, here. Okay. Um, and what I'm thinking is I'd like my power cell here with the linked cell. Everybody goes out. Okay. 
Um, this part's going to be a little bit tricky, but let's see. Well, let's see, yeah, you're a little bit weird, Mr. Hover Mode. Hover Mode's weird, remember? Hover Mode's weird in, 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 in a, in a gravity-less environment. Do you not need power? That is cool. I would have expected a gravity controller to need power. Right? The oxygen vents need power, but I don't think the CO2 scrubbers do. So I think we're cool on that, right? All right, let's turn off hover mode. Let's collect you, right? Artificial gravity 0 0.1, max gravity change rate, target gravity 10. Uh, I assume we want our target gravity, okay. This is different than what's on the wiki. I see, I see. So that target gravity is point, right? So target gravity 100 equals 1.0. Right, so I think what's gonna happen is, see how I'm jumping here? And I'm basically hitting the ceiling. Once this guy hits 1.0, it should act like normal gravity, right? Um, so what's oxygen trays do? I have no idea. Uh, redstone control disabled? Ooh, I hear noise. Nice. I don't know what Oxygen Trace does. But in theory, we should be cool now with our Oxygen, right? Oxygen Vent. All right, so uh, here's the details on Oxygen Vent, right? With two Oxygen Scrubbers, or two Carbon Scrubbers, right? The Oxygen Vent A uses more power, but B uses no Oxygen until the Carbon Scrubbers wear out. Um, and once they wear out, then it'll start using oxygen, right? So we'll just want to keep that in mind. So in theory, I should be able to take my spacesuit helmet off <sighs> and breathe and breathe. Now, I think if I step outside, hopefully I just take damage, right? Oh, yeah. Warning, no oxygen detected. Ah, no oxygen. But we're fine in here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice. So everything's working in here. Let's get our warp drive up and running. What do you all say? You like that plan? Boom. Warp core. Um, so titanium blocks. Uh, gold blocks, we're going to want the warp core, which might still be some. There it is. Okay. Here, and we also need our input hatch, right? So you're going to be a titanium block, warp core, titanium block, titanium block, titanium block, titanium block, titanium block, machine structures. Ah, that's right. We needed machine structures. That's I made them at the end of last episode and forgot to grab them. I forget how many we need, but I know we have enough. Uh, so you're going to tell me we need four machine structures. Cool. Back to space we go. I wonder if I have enough stuff to upgrade you. I do. I can make you the advanced charge porter, to be fair. And the advanced charge porter can store more than one destination in it. You know. Just saying. Okay. Uh, so titanium block... Structure, 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 structure. Titanium, 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 titanium. Input hatch. Really? You're supposed to be titanium? Am I missing something? That might be where the two golds go. Yeah, I think the two golds go in the middle. And then the input hatch. Hey, that's fancy looking. That is a fancy looking fanciness right there. So there's your warp core. Booyah. Now the input hatch is the top, and that's where your dilithium crystals go, right? So, 
Uh, dilithium crystals are just dilithium dust in the crystallizer. So guess where we're going? Back home. So by the way, notes about the uh, chest linking thing. You can link to any eye inventory. So basically a chest or any modded inventory or basically anything that holds uh, some kind of storage slot. Like you could technically link to a furnace. I don't know why you would, but furnaces have inventory slots so you can link to them. Um, it should work across dimensions. Uh, it might need to be tested a little bit, but in theory it's meant to. Uh, and you can link to refined storage systems at this point by binding to uh, the refined storage interface. Uh, implementing applied energistics is a little bit trickier than implementing refined storage, so that's a work in progress. But you can link to a refined storage system if you bind the tool to an interface from refined storage, and it'll just pull right out of refined storage, which is cool. Anyway, we were doing things, weren't we? We were getting dilithium. Yeah, we were. Uh, so we've got a bunch of dilithium ore, right? So let's take that. And remember, we can always go to the moon to get more of this stuff, right? Uh, dilithium dust, we can get in, in either the manufactory or the crusher or the sag mill or the alloy smeltery. The sag mill will get us two. Uh, the manufactory gets us two. The crusher from extra utilities gets us two. Anything else, buddies? Flux anodizers, fluid sieving. So not the mechanism machine. So I'm assuming that you're just not gonna be cool, right? No, why would you be cool? Did I put dilithium dust in the manufacturer recipe? I did. So let's just do this to make it easier. Uh, let's get a hundred of you. Cool, and then you'll cook. Technically that's, that's just 50. Uh, that should be good. And then over here, did I put an interface on the, this is what, chemical reactor? Why do you not have power, buddy? Because I have two power input plugs on you. I don't even know if we need this thing anymore, because I think the only thing it does is, is make normal armor have pressurization. Uh, and also other things, like uh, make the fuel that we can't use anymore. So where's my crystallizer? That's this one. So we do have recipes on the crystallizer, right? So let's do that. Let's 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 dilithium crystal the recipe, right? So just boop boop, easy peasy. So then if I said, hey, I would really love it if you could get me like a hundred dilithium crystals to start. I don't know how much dilithium we need um, to get going, right? Um, but you're going to cook at a decent rate of speed. So we've got gold coils on these things, right? And quartz crucibles. Could I get titanium coils? Because I think those are the best coils, right? Uh, until we get to iridium, which I don't think we have access to yet. So I'm going to do that real quick. So gold coil, goodbye. Titanium coil, hello. And now your speed is a little bit higher 1.78 i think that's better than it was a minute ago gold coil can go back home cool so let's wait for our dilithium crystals to process a little bit and we'll be right back and because it's a multi-block i get nervous about the tick accelerating so i'm gonna hold off on probably doing that i'm i'm imagining that if i were to take accelerate the crystallizer block itself that's the one that would be cool to take accelerate but i'm just gonna not because worrisome look at that cool fancy animation though I like it that. It's like literally growing the crystals. That's so cool. So the next thing we need to make um, is a warp controller. Booyah. Got all the stuff. And I grabbed a Planet ID chip because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need one of these. Um, so here's the plan. The warp controller is what allows us to set the destination of our space station. So it basically allows us to control uh, our warp drive, which is exciting and cool. So this will let us actually use the thing we just made. Uh, without it, you know, that whole warp core is pretty useless. Uh, so this is the UI that we used to say like, this is the planet I wanna go to. Hey, Fluxed Electrum, cool. And Hardened Iridium Glass, also cool, boom, boom. So uh, you're cooking up a bunch of dilithium crystals for me. Uh, that's still going. I have no idea I'm hoping it'll tell me. So like, let's, 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 yeah, let's go back to the space station. I should probably move my dialing device and everything inside the space station. And I think I'm gonna do that like right now. Um, 
Let's do that. Let's 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 pick up you and you and you. So that going forward, when we dial the destination of the space station, uh, we land, you know, somewhere reasonable, like inside the space station. So matter receiver can be here, your space station. Matter transmitter can be here. Um, and this will probably break the air flow thingy. Ah, no oxygen. Oxygen. <laughs> nice. I like it. I like it. I do like it. I think it's cool. I love, I love, uh, I love this this oxygen thing. So by the way, we should be at a point where we have oxygen or we have gravity now. See this gravity controller is all the way up. So hey, look, gravity, sweet. So let's turn you on, which means you're going to behave a little bit better by virtue of the fact that we have gravity. And I mean like a little bit better is the keyword here. It behaves a little bit better. The jetpacky thingy. Cool. So if I were to space dude, nice, off. He's running. So now, right, uh, space station to home dial, right, you're good to go. And then we should be able to get back to the space station uh, from here. Just validating that the whole setup is back and good. Cool. Rocketry building. I should just put that teleporter thing right next to this matter receiver so I can get there to and from easily. So now when I teleport to the space station, I'm not outside. Right? And I think that's cool. Uh, do you need power? Nowhere to go. Oh, wow. Look at all these things. Warp selection data. Oh, my. What's this? Planet tracking? Search for planet program from chip. Artifacts? I don't know what any of this is. This is new. Currently orbiting Earth. Destination is Earth. Core status, nowhere to go. Fuel cost, one. This is interesting. I like, I like this. I'm going to pop you right here because you don't seem to need any kind of thing. I don't know what data and planet tracking is, though. All right, so I figured it out. There's a config option, if you want, uh, that you can use to discover planets, and that's not enabled in this pack. So by default, the planets are just known to you, right? But if there's a config option that you can use to discover new planets, and that's what these two tabs are used for. But we don't have to worry about that. So now we get to choose a planet. So, uh, hey, where should we go? That's a good question. Uh, let's look at our quests. What do the quests say? Uh, so, like, there's all these resources to get, right? Um, I, I kind of want iridium. So drops from an extremely rare ore found in space. Destabilized clathate. Um, that drops from destabilized redstone ore, which is found on Terra Nova, Europa, Kelt, Proxima B, and Stella. Europa's a uh, uh, Europa's a Jupiter moon, right? I think. So let's select planet here. Should we go to Jupiter? Does that sound cool? Jupiter has two moons. So there's Jupiter, Io. I wish, though, that I could zoom this out. And Europa. Hey, look at me, knowing my space. Uh, that's cool. So if I select Europa as our destination, the fuel cost is 192. 192 is a number that doesn't mean much to me. But hey, I just dropped a whole bunch of fuel into the input hatch, and it vanished immediately, so that's a good sign. Um, looks like we got 1,000 fuel from that? That's a weird number. How does that make sense? Fuel a thousand? I don't understand. Oh, and the fuel cost is going to change based on the distance of the planet. Because as you saw in the UI there, the planets are orbiting the sun and the moons are orbiting the planets. So based on the planet's current position, the fuel cost can change a little bit. So if you're short on fuel, uh, you know, stuff. So let's do this. We can always get to and from our space station, right? From our receiver. So let's fly to Jupiter and check that out. And then uh, we'll probably wrap up the episode after we get to, to Europa. And then we'll launch next episode a rocket to Europa. 
place a matter receiver there so we can get to and from, and then explore the planet a little bit and do a little bit of mining and maybe get that first resource that's cool. Now, the reason I've checked this is because I want Iridium next. That's one of the ones we definitely don't have access to. And Rutile we'll get access to soon, or we already have, right? So we're good with that. Then Prosperity will help with mystical agriculture when we want to get into that. Dimensional Shard, right? And I wouldn't mind Draconium Ore uh, of some kind, so that would be cool too, right? So we'll check out all these different planets and set up remote way stations on them, the ones that are useful for us. We might even explore some just for fun because Dire Planet Nerd. But first, let's warp to Europa. So the warp cost is 200 fuel, right? Um, if we weren't using matter receivers, which I almost feel like we're cheating a little bit by using those, but also it's just convenient to be able to go back and forth really easily to our home base, right? Um, normally we'd have to rocket ship back and forth every time we want to go back home and not. And that's just kind of like, ugh. so we'll see. We'll rocket ship to the new planets. And then, like I said, we're dropping matter receivers, kind of like Stargates, right? And we can get to and from. So let's warp. You ready? You ready? Here goes. Boom. Do, 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 do. Now, do you know why I made, like, so many glass, glass things? We're warping! And the warp core is warp coring! How cool is that? We are so warping. We are totally in, in space. See? Orbiting space. Destination unknown, apparently. Alright, warp core. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. I like it. I very much like it. Taking a little while, though. I mean, to be fair, we're going to Europa. Taking a while. Getting nervous. Please don't abandon me in the middle of space. <laughs> Let's go warp core. Oh, hey, we landed. We landed. Woot. I think we're here. I think we're here. Destination Europa. Orbiting Europa. Nice. That is cool. Look, we're over Europa, guys. Nice. So this is a moon of Jupiter, right? One of Jupiter's moons. Uh, and that is super cool. Uh, so let's say next episode we'll launch a rocket, right? Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this works, right? Um, um, but if I open up this thing and we go to our guidance computer, right? It's a station ship, right? So what, what happens? Now that's interesting. Uh, so I crashed from like a weird crash bug thingy, uh, that I think I know what the cause is and I reported. But now we're orbiting Earth again, so I'm gonna... Just go back here and reselect Europa as our destination. Where is Jupiter? And Europa. Select and warp. So we're going to warp back to Europa using a bit of fuel, but that should be fine. We have enough, right? Use about 200 fuel to get there. Uh, we should be fine in terms of fuel for now. So we're warping. We're warping. Huzzah! I'm guessing that when we crashed, it, like, didn't save what planet we were around. So we need to, like, not crash <laughs> when we exit the world. And then hopefully it'll remember where we're at. I wasn't sure if I needed to install a planet ID chip is what it comes down to, right? I'm not 100% sure if I need to put a planet ID chip in the rocket uh, or if I'm cool to just blast off. It, I might be cool to just blast off and come back because it has the space station ID chip. So it should know how to get to the space station. So I think... That means that we'll just launch to whatever planet or moon we're currently orbiting um, rather than needing a planet ID chip, which will let us choose which planet or moon we go to. Um, and, and to my knowledge, the rocket can only go to planets and moons like when you're around a planet, right? So I should be able to go to... If I use the planet ID chip, I think I could go to Jupiter and the two moons. Uh, but without the planet ID chip, I think it'll just go to the moon that we're currently orbiting. But we're going to find out... Uh, when we finish warping here, which should be... Oh, there we go, right now. Awesome. So now we're, we're orbiting Europa. So if I get on this rocket, it's going to tell me destination Europa. Perfect. Let's do that next episode, though, because it's totally wrapping up points. So for now, Level 20 sending off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. We'll get to Europa. We'll bring a matter receiver down there. And we'll set up a little mini Europa base. And then 
Uh, we might digital mine Europa once we find some of that redstone stuff that we need. We can get a bunch of it. Um, I don't know what that castle class class stuff is going to be used for. Class rate. Um, I'm, I'm imagining there's like a use for it. So we we do need it for the quantum entangled singularity. So there you go. We oh no, we need it for anglocyte from extreme reactors. Okay, wow, we need a lot of things for that. That feels like a really later thing. It gets us destabilized redstone, obviously. Um, I don't know if there's any other use for it other than this crazy recipe right here. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure it out. For now, that was my signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.